address. Welcome to the note-taking workshop brought to you by the Writing Center at the Academic Resource Center. So note-taking is a process of recording information from another source so that you can study on it later. Note-taking is important because it helps to alleviate stress. And the common place that you're going to take notes are uh, from your book, from your classroom uh, lectures, from meetings, and from the class itself. The biggest issue that students have when taking notes is that they stress about the time that it takes to take notes and to go over notes. And so with this particular resource, we should give you a few tips that can help reduce that time. One thing that helps with taking notes is to recognize your own learning style. There are three main types of learning, the visual, the auditorial, and the kinesthetic. The visual learners are students who learn by what they see, and they do well when they read or they see diagrams or images. Uh, auditory learners learn by what they hear. And so when they listen to discussions, that helps them learn. And kinesthetic students, they learn by moving. They also learn by hands-on. So if you want to incorporate your learning style and you're a visual learner, you can use colors. You can rewrite the facts, right? Copy the images and the diagrams. You can even doodle your notes. Uh, mind maps, flashcards, highlighting is very, very, very effective. And you can skim the chapter or the chapter summaries beforehand. If your learning style is auditory, then that student does well if they record the lectures. Studying with others, right? Using word association. Having your discussions with your friends and your classmates, right? Brings the information back to your ear. Sometimes using music or rhyme to remember and repeat and read your notes out loud. A kinesthetic learner, write your notes in class and then rewrite the notes. Tracing the keywords with your finger, meaning that you're actually doing some movement. On-site visits and field trips, a lot of times students, the kinesthetic learners do well if they have a stress ball or they're tapping a pencil while they are taking their notes, studying with others, learning by doing and using flashcards. The tip when taking any notes is just write the important stuff. If your teacher has it highlighted or they have repeated it, then of course, write that down. And you don't have to write full sentences because you will run out of time. So get into the habit of writing phrases. And if you're reading a chapter, then you can paraphrase what it says in that chapter in your own words. So when you go back to study it, it makes sense to you. Let's look at a quick example of how you can summarize initially and then get to the main points. So in this exercise, we have this full paragraph about global warming. Then we have below and highlighted, we're showing you how you can take away unnecessary words, right? And get to the main points. The main points are that global warming is undesirable and it leads to melting of glaciers and eye caps, rise in sea levels, this biggest threat, drowning entire cities, coastal areas, predicted average rise, range of 1.4. When you're taking notes, you can also use abbreviations and shorter words. Just you, if you know them, then definitely use them. For instance, you can write B slash C for because, or shortened version of through, or EX for example, or plus or minus. If you don't know the symbols, then don't use them because they will just confuse you later. Age with your notes. Use bulletin points. Use space wisely like we have here so that the words and what you have written has stands out. Underline your headers, right? Use arrows to descriptions and your subpoints. Highlight, right? And then you can also make drawings. 
You can also right, look at how we have abbreviated this. Notice in the last example, we had a, a good sized paragraph. Then we summarize the paragraph into just these three and a half lines. Now what you can do is that you can use the spacing and the abbreviations to take this same information and make it more visual. Global warming, I have my dot here, global warming. I have it underlined. I'm using a symbol. It's undesirable, right? Bulletin point again leads to it's uh, melting glaciers and ice cap, rise in sea level is a big threat to entire coastal cities, threat to the drowning of entire cities and coastal areas, predicted average rise in temperature, right? And even over here, we actually even have a picture. I've got a picture of the earth and then I have a little fire. What you can do is prep your notes before class. While you're waiting for the professor, this is a great time to prep. Write down the title and date and then the subject, right? Any other thing. We have found that students will remember better if they write instead of typing. Because when you write it down, it involves what's known as muscle memory. You have to take the energy to write it, and then you can read and see what you have written. And that stands a little bit more than as you're typing, you're really focusing on the letters on the machine. And there's a few other ways that you can outline your notes, right? Uh, we have the outline method itself, the Cornell, and the mind map. The outline method is very easy, right? Where you just use the typical outline and then you put your information in it, right? Your main topic, subtopic, supporting facts, right? Your second main topic and so on. The Cornell method is a method that many students might use already and not even notice. And that is that you take your paper and divide it in two. And on one side, you have what's known as the Q column. And this is where you have shortened versions of the main ideas, like this would be global warming, right? Um, bad keywords, right? And then on the next column, then on this right-hand side, then you write out more of the information there, right? And you might have it in full sentences or full phrases, right? And then at the bottom, then you have the summary. So if this sheet was on global warming, then the bottom would be the global warming is undesirable. And that's how you would sum that up. A mind map is another way, depending on type of learner you are, mind maps can be very effective, right? So maybe in the center, you would just have global warming. And then in these circles, right, surrounding the mind map, you would have the main points that you have read and want to make about global warming. The main key is, is that your notes are your own. You write them whenever you want, as long as it helps you learn to uh, learn the material and remember what you've done. But the key is, is that taking notes is useless if you don't refer back to them, if you don't study them, right? So you'll want to experiment with the best note-taking method for yourself so that when you return to review your notes, that your notes make sense to you. And of course, never hesitate to ask your teacher to slow down or go back over a slide or ask questions even during the lecture, because if they're going too fast, then you can't get the notes. We also have a little video, all right, a YouTube video, Crash Course Study Skills, Taking Notes. You can look this up on the YouTube channel, right, for yourself and participate and enjoy this video. Thank you for your time.